Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Molière diagram, uh, and we are going to be solving a problem in order to understand it more clearly. So, at first, uh, in the y-axis, we can see enthalpy, and in the x-axis, we can see the entropy in kilojoule per kelvin uh, into kg uh, unit. Okay, and uh, the this line you can see here, this uh, this bold line, this bold red line. Okay. Uh, let me mark it for you to understand more clearly. So this red bold line that you can see, this red bold line, this is the saturated vapor line. Okay, this is the saturated vapor line. So those uh, who have studied about the TV diagram for the boiling of water, TV diagram of water. In the TV diagram of water, here you have got T and here is the V and small v is representing the specific volume. Okay. So in this diagram, we have shown something like this. Okay. So uh, this is something like this. This is a constant pressure line. Okay. So this was our saturated vapor line, saturated vapor line, right? This was our saturated vapor line and this, this line was our saturated liquid line saturated liquid line right and this was the critical point if you remember okay so this is the and here we had uh, got the sensible heat here you have got the latent heat then a sensible heat of vaporization something like that so this is all about the tv diagram so this is the saturated vapor line no? so this is the saturated uh, this is the constant pressure line this is here the pressure is constant right i'm talking about this line and then you will have many other constant pressure lines here I'm sorry, this is not going to be drawn like this. This is going to be drawn like this. So this is also a constant pressure line. So all the lines that uh, I have shown uh, here is the pro constant pressure line. You have got critical point. You have got the saturated vapor line. Saturated vapor line is this this line, right? Uh, this this line you can see. This is the saturated vapor line, and this is the saturated liquid line. So in this diagram, this red dot, this this uh, bold red color, you can see this line. Okay, this line. I'm just rolling over it. This line is the saturated vapor line. Okay, and uh, the and we also know some uh, th other things about this. Like at this point, this is V F. At this point, this is V G. This point is V G. What does this V G means? This means that uh, it was liquid before. Okay. Uh, in this region, this is the saturated liquid line. That means you have got liquid here. You have got liquid here. As you go to this point, VF point, this is the point where it has just started to transform into into vapor. So that means uh, throughout this entire line, it is transforming in vapor. And at this specific point, uh, I am marking this. And this specific one, that is VG. In this point, it has been entirely transformed into vapor that's why you have got the saturated vapor line because uh, after this line you have got the superheated steam that means this is the point where you have got no wet region i mean we have you have you have got no water molecule i mean the steam is 100 percent dry at the point vg here the value of x is one this is the dryness fraction so this is this also determines the quality of the steam right so at this point the dryness fraction is one that means it is there is no uh, moisture in the vapor so here it may be the value of x is something like 0 0.3 here it may be 0 0.5 and it it goes on increasing and ultimately you will get x equal to one that is the dryness fraction one okay so now i want to talk about uh, these lines uh, you, you can see this lines i am marking with the red light so this line is representing your x that is the dryness fraction you can see here that 0 0.90 0 0.85 0 0.80 and ultimately here x equals to 1 x equals to 1 at the point which is the this uh, this line this line is the saturated vapor line so at this line you are getting the dryness fraction as 1 right And for your kind information, if I want to talk about uh, the saturation uh, dryness fraction, if I want to talk about the dryness fraction, let me make it clear to you dryness fraction. This is basically a ratio. Okay. This is basically a ratio that will talk tell you about ms over ms plus mw. Here ms stands for 
मास ऑफ ड्राई स्टील एंड एम डब्ल्यू स्टैंड फॉर मास ऑफ वॉटर वेपर ओके एंड हेयर इट इज ऑल्सो डिनोटेड विथ एक्स ओके सो एक्स इज द ड्राइनेस फ्रैक्शन सो वी वर एक्चुअली टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस थिंग सो दिस इज दैट एक्स राइट एंड दिस इज दिस एक्स सिक्स पॉइंट टू एट दिस इज पॉइंट एट फाइव पॉइंट नाइन जीरो and then ultimately it is point uh, it is one okay so we have already talked about the saturated vapor line we have talked about the dryness fraction line now i want to talk about i want to take uh, a deep look into this line okay so you can see this line this line this line this line these lines are actually uh, telling you about the temperatures right take a look at this 20 degree Fifty uh, degree, sorry, to twenty bar, fifty bar, hundred bar, two hundred bar, and five hundred bar. That means uh, these lines, these uh, these lines, these lines. You can see here, these lines are talking uh, about the pressures in the unit bar, and uh, these lines. You can see these lines, the lines that are going like this. These lines are talking about the temperatures. All right, so we have got uh, various informations about. Uh, Temperatures, as well as we know about the saturated vapor line, the dryness fraction line, temperature line, as well as the pressure line, right? So here uh, you have got the pressure lines. Here you have, you have got the temperature lines, and uh, accordingly you will get enthalpy and entropy for various cases. Now I want to discuss about a problem for you to understand it more clearly. So take a look at this stem at 15 bar and 300 degree Celsius is throttled. and uh, we know that the process that is throttling process is a constant enthalpy process okay throttling process is basically nothing but a constant enthalpy process in a in a uh, in a throttling process the enthalpy will remain constant h1 for example h1 will be equal to h2 something like that enthalpy is going to be remaining constant for the case of a throttling process and what we have done here uh, that we have got a 15 bar and 300 degree celsius steam okay then we have uh, throttled it to 10 bar so after the throttling process the pressure has reduced to 10 bar from 15 10 bar from 15 so 15 bar to 10 bar it has been changed the pressure has been changed then it then undergoes isentropic process so the name itself is suggesting us that what is going on with this that uh, this is an isentropic process and in isentropic process what happens the entropy remains constant it is very easy right and then what we have done a uh, heat expansion entropy drop okay isentropic heat expansion in an isentropic heat expansion the entropy drops those who have who have knowledge about the rankine cycle carnot cycle you have seen that now uh, to one bar in the turbine that means the temperature has dropped to one bar in the turbine determine isentropic heat drop change in enthalpy and the condition of the steam that means you are being asked to find the dryness fraction at the exit from the turbine and you also need to mark the process on the molier diagram okay so here it is the molier diagram now take a look at my uh, marker very carefully okay i hope you can see this uh, okay okay so we are talked about 15 bar and 300 degree celsius okay so see This is twenty bar, so this is ten bar. This is twenty bar. This is ten bar. So fifteen bar is somewhere here. So this is our fifteen bar line. If you come, if you go along this fifteen bar line, if you go along this fifteen bar line, and at this point, this is specific point that is marked with the black uh, black marker. So you can see this line is the three hundred degree Celsius line. Let me mark it for you to understand uh, for you to understand more clearly, as well as. Let me take a look. Three hundred degree Celsius, twenty degree Celsius. Sorry, not twenty degree. Ah, uh, fifteen degree. Fifteen degree will lie somewhere here. So we have got a point here. Okay, we have got a point here. And then what I am required to do is, see, we have got a point here. This is the point which indicates ah uh, fifteen bar and three hundred degree Celsius. Isn't it? Yes, it is. It is right. I am hundred percent right. Okay. And after that, what we are going to do is, uh, let me take a red marker. Okay. After that, uh, it has been throttled. So, so in, in the throttling, throttling process, process, the enthalpy will remain same. So, so I will go from this point 
to uh, suppose this point okay this point and this point is the 10 bar point and we are in, we are in a horizontal line that means the enthal enthalpy for the case of this point as well as this point is same because here it was uh, 300 degrees celsius and 15 bar and here it is and, and the, at this point this is 10 bar and both at isenthalpic process both at at throttling process that means the enthalpy will remain same like h1 will be equal to h2 i mean for example uh, try to understand this this is the same enthalpy okay and after that you have what you have done what you have done isentropic heat expansion and due to the isentropic heat exp expansion the enthalpy has dropped to one bar i mean so i'm sorry uh, the pressure has dropped in dropped to one bar so the pressure here this is the one bar line this line okay look at this line this is the one bar line so this line is here and uh, you will just go straight vertically down from that point to uh, this point why, why straight down because you need to maintain a constant entropy at this point and this point the entropy will remain the same right that's why you have just uh, drawn a vertical line till you reach to one bar line okay so now uh, at this point you will get an enthalpy you will get an enthalpy right if you just uh, go from here uh, straight here you will read a read an enthalpy and also from here you also from here got an enthalpy and if you just try to uh, like find the change in enthalpy then you need to find it like this h1 minus h2 or h2 minus h1 i mean you will get the enthalpy isn't it okay so now one part of your question is solved that you have been able to find the change in enthalpy and now you need to find the dryness fraction dryness fraction where dryness fraction at exit you need to find the dryness fraction at exit so that means uh, this is the exit because at exit you had the temperature to 10 bar sorry uh, one bar okay at this point you have the temperature at one bar and this is the exit and now at this point if you want to find the dryness fraction where you will go you will just go along this line and then here you will find the desired dryness fraction so in this lecture we have discussed uh, about uh, the molier chart and we also have discussed a problem in order to understand how to read this molier chart and how to use this chart and we also have discussed about the temperature and specific volume uh, graph uh, we did not discuss it very much uh, openly i mean with so much clarifications but we have discussed so that we can relate this graph with this graph i mean you can see that this point is here and uh, the constant pressure and this is the dryness fraction lines like it will go like this okay so thank you for watching this video uh, i hope to see you later in any other lecture